it's really bad down here. So hopefully the flashlight's enough for you guys to see. What's up everybody and welcome back to another video. So I have my beautiful wife with me today. Hi. We're over here actually looking at a burnt down house. This is one that I own through the company with my two partners. And this recently burnt down. It was a rental uh, through our RTO program, rent to own program. And then when it burned down, we got a check from the insurance agency. So now we are actually going to flip it and put it on the market and sell it. Without any further ado, I'm gonna follow Rihanna right now and she's gonna walk us through the house while I film and talk. And we're gonna see what we can get into. And if you stay tuned in this video, towards the end of the video, I'm gonna walk you guys through how you flip a burned down house and the kind of the process we go through to do that. And I'm gonna put my hair up because we already went in there to unlock the door and everything and it smells so bad. So I'm gonna try to put my hair in like a bun so the smell doesn't get like sunk in. Yes, and it's completely burned down guys. There's no electricity. So I'm gonna go ahead and apologize now for the lighting. I'll put the flash on to make it a little bit better, but let's get started. All right, Rihanna, you gonna walk us through? Yes. First of all, you guys know I like to check out the neighborhoods and this is a very nice, quiet, cute little neighborhood. We realized that as soon as we drove in the front. So that's a good sign already. Driveway, I think needs a little work. So guys, about the numbers on this one, we're still working it out. We just got the two checks from the insurance companies. We got one check for the rehab to fix it, and we got one check to replace our rental income that we're not gonna be getting while it's getting worked on. And again, I'll explain more of that at the end of the video. You like the little duck there? He would like it. She'd say, quack, quack. Okay. Right. So from the outside, it doesn't look that bad, but wait until you get inside. Oh right. boy. It's a split level entry, which we don't love, but it'll work. And some people actually really do like it. So should we start downstairs where it started or upstairs first? Let's go upstairs first. It's more interesting upstairs, but downstairs is really bad too. So you can tell the carpet is like covered in soot. I think that's what it's called. And the people couldn't take anything with them that they own because everything is basically destroyed by the um, ashes and the flames. The lighting is so bad that your eyes are like red, like you look evil. <laughs> But they got um, money to buy new stuff, so that's good. It looks like they had a bunch of kids in here. Um, so this is the living area. It's actually a nice sized living area, and it goes straight into the dining area, which is good. Um, it looks like they were just using this as another little hangout spot, but I think if you knock this wall down, just my advice, <laughs> it opens it up and it'll make it really nice. Yeah, that's just extra cabinets there. I don't think you need that. So we went from the living room to the dining room, and that's going to lead us straight into the kitchen. I'm kind of blinded by the flashlight. Yeah, don't even look at the camera anymore. Your eyes are freaking me out. <laughs> I almost slipped. So the kitchen is destroyed. Basically, where the fire started, you guys will see in a second, was right underneath the kitchen. So it probably shouldn't be, like, standing on this floor just chilling. But the kitchen was, like, completely filled with smoke. The window's covered in black soot, which is why there's no light in here and you can't see. But, yeah, look at the cabinets. They're just covered. I open the fridge. Never open the fridge. That's always the number one rule in flipping houses. Never open the fridge. Okay, this is the hallway. I guess this isn't a detailed house tour. So there's the bathroom if you want to take a peek in there. It's destroyed as well. Everything in here is destroyed. But look It's going to need everything. <laughs> Show them the mirror. You can tell just how much. You can't even see yourself in the mirror because there's so much smoke all over Yeah, everything. I hope the quality of this video. I mean, there's nothing I can really do about it other than bring a lighting crew in here. So... <laughs> I apologize again. I hate I hate when the video quality is not great, but there is no electricity in here and all the windows are blacked out from the soot. So no lighting. So this is another bedroom here. Yeah, there's three bedrooms, which is nice. So then you got the master bedroom here. And you which can tell they the bathroom. I think there's a bathroom around the corner. You can tell they left everything behind here. Look, look at how much stuff is on there. That's why they couldn't take any of their belongings, and you can't salvage much from a fire. Yes, uh, take it from me, someone who's actually uh, lived through a house fire before. Uh, you can't really salvage anything, even if you want to, because the smell is almost near impossible to get out of clothing, out of like, especially like stuff like this, like stuffed animals for kids and stuff. Like the smell really never comes out. You can wash it a hundred times, and you still smell it. Um, so that's why everything's been left behind, even if it looks like it's good stuff. Uh, you know, there's soot and there's probably water inside of a lot of this stuff from the fire department. And you can tell there's like snacks. Like these people were literally. Did you say snacks? Yeah. Of course snacks you. Of course you noticed the snacks. These people were just here before it happened. Look at that wall. That's yeah. Crazy. So obviously that's where it kind of started downstairs, and then it shot up this wall. Probably went into the attic, and uh, and then burnt the ceiling and they everything. Built it. Look at the curtains. Like it's just insane how powerful fire is. And the people, the family's all okay, John said. So yeah, every, like everybody that. made it out. We probably should have said that in the beginning of the yeah. video. So look at this. Look at where it went right up the wall right there. Wow. 
it's really bad down here. So hopefully the flashlight's enough for you guys to see. But this is where the fire started. I'm not going to go in there because I don't right. know how secure the so fire is. So I'm going to walk in here, but okay. it's super dark. This is the darkest part of the house. I'm guessing it was like the washer or the dryer or something over here started this fire. But this room is absolutely the worst. I probably shouldn't even be in here without a hard hat on. Actually, if you're watching this, I'm wearing a hard hat. I have a hard hat on. I got steel toed boots. I got it all. Another bedroom right here. And this one's pretty burnt up as well. Looks like the bed was made there, which is a good sign that nobody was in here when this happened. Show them how, so the fire department um, lines this off and they start their investigation where the fire started. In case anybody's wondering how they figure out. How yeah, take Rihanna, Rihanna intern with the fire department. That's how she knows this stuff, guys. I, I was a firefighter one in high school. Okay? Whatever that, what's a one? It's like the first level. Oh, that's sad. All the baby clothes Aww. left behind. Yeah, it's sad, but at least they're okay. All right, so let's uh, show you the garage real quick. So it's a nice big house. It's in a good neighborhood. And this thing is going to uh, fetch a high dollar when we're done with it because it's going to be like brand new. Um, so it will all turn out good in the end. Everybody will win. Uh, nobody got hurt. It doesn't work. It's I want a Peloton. It's probably a user area. She that is your Peloton. Peloton. <laughs> that's, the, that's the frugal investor Peloton. <laughs> all right, let's go back out here. And let's go upstairs. And we're going to show you the backyard real quick. And then I'm going to wrap this video up with kind of explaining the process of flipping a burnt down house uh, in case you're ever interested. But it has a nice big porch back here and a nice big flat backyard. A flat backyard is very hard to find in West Virginia. I don't know what she's doing or where she's going. Okay, she's crazy. And then anyway, it is fenced in. It is nice. Did you get a little bit of energy out there? I'm testing it out for the dogs. Oh, okay. All right. Well, let me flip this camera around and kind of explain to you guys the process of flipping a burnt down house. By the way, update. You can't really smell the smoke on the inside of my hair, but you can smell it on the outside. Thanks for the update. First of all, everybody wants to know if you stink now from being in the house. I don't think so, but you never know until you get around other people and they're like, oh man, are you a smoker? <laughs> but anyway, uh, so yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed the tour. Uh, I wish we had some electricity in there so we could stay in there longer and go through some stuff and kind of see what all they were left behind because that's always interesting to me. Uh, but anyway, we now are in the process of flipping this. So what we have done since it burned down is obviously contact the insurance company and get them working on that. Then the insurance company cuts a few checks. They cut a check to us to rehab it. They cut us another check to replace our rental income that we would have gotten had it not burned down. And I think that is for six to eight months. And they also cut a check to the person that was renting it to replace all their belongings. So everybody was fully protected here. That's super important if you're in the house flipping or rental game. Make sure everybody's protected. Make sure that your renters have homeowner's insurance or renter policy in place to protect them in case something like this happens. And again, everybody made it out safe, which is the most important thing. So then what we do is we run it through our software, Rehab Valuator. If you have not been using the software, you need to check it out. The link is in the description below. It's absolutely the best software we've ever used. Super cheap, super efficient, and very intuitive to get started. But anyway, we ran it through that software. We're figuring out all of our numbers now. and We're getting contractor numbers. And as soon as we have all those numbers in and it's plugged into the software, we will come over here and get started on the work over here. Now, when you're flipping a burnt house, it's a little bit different than just flipping your standard house. You have to get rid of all of the burnt wood. You have to make sure everything's up to standard and up to grade. You have to go through several inspections. You have to get rid of all the smell. You can't leave things behind and cut corners. We never do, but we have heard of people doing this and it's just not smart. Uh, one day if somebody goes to move a wall or change something around in the house or goes up in the attic and sees that you did not do it correctly, your integrity is on the line. So if you are flipping a burnt house, make sure you do it right. Make sure you go through the proper inspections and please get the smell out and do it the right way because nobody wants to be living in a house. They move in. At, at first it has that brand new house smell. Then all of a sudden a few weeks later things start smelling like smoke and fire. So just don't do that. Do you have to like gut everything? Because it looked like the electric and the plumbing was all messed up too. So yes, there's rules to all that. Again, I'm not the construction side of this. That's my partner, Steve, but he will follow all the rules and guidelines of what needs to be removed and what can stay. So these are the things that we need to look at once we tear all the walls down and get this thing demoed. The demo is not going to be cheap on this house because they left everything behind. Plus, we also have to do the demo and it's more demo than normal because of all the burned up stuff. 
But anyway, this project is going to turn out phenomenal when it's done. This is a very sought after neighborhood and a sought after area of where we live. So when we finish it, it should sell like that. And so we're excited to get this thing started. Uh, if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below. I'll be happy to answer them. If you aren't already, please subscribe and like this video. I appreciate your support and we'll see you guys in the next video.